welcome back to Super Tuesday Recap. This is your host, Crix and Deepom here. Uh, we are back because Arrow is back, and that's the first one we're doing today. We are doing Arrow Season 6, Episode 1, Fallout. Uh, Oliver deals with the fallout from the explosion of the island. Now, before we get into this episode, I do want to apologize. We had an uh, email from Jeremy last week about, not even last week, during the week uh, from Jeremy about uh, Legend of Tomorrow, and I said I was going to email it. I'm not going to lie. I was dog-ass tired this entire week. So by the time we finish Legend of Tomorrow, I completely forgot to, to talk about the email. So I'm going to read this email. It's really short. Um, it says, best show of the, week, uh, of the week so far. I love ripping this organization of assholes. Yes, they are assholes. Uh, they were rude as hell, but definitely not wrong about the legend being admitted to the timeline. Shame they had to send back the T-Rexes back. Uh, same, shame they had to send the T-Rexes back. Everything is better with T-Rexes. See, you keep emailing, Jeremy, you keep emailing about these T-Rexes and the dinosaurs, and I know that's your thing, but it's becoming a problem just like my villain agenda thing. Like, it's, we, we gotta have a talk, man. We gotta have a talk. It's just, I understand what you're saying here, and, 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 and I get it, but um, yeah, man, we gotta send the dinosaurs back. You gotta... We can't we can't Jurassic Park this shit. We can't we can't do that. So um, yeah. So, anyway, like I said, email us uh, for the shows we're reviewing for Super Tuesday recap. Make sure you email us at mtrailerreviews at mtrnetwork.net. Uh, we'll have a mailbag episode coming up in not this week but the following week. Uh, we were talking about comic book stuff. So if you have comic book questions, you want to talk about things. Uh, Deep Palm and I were just talking about uh, Tom King's Batman. And fucking Kite Man. <laughs> just Hell yeah. I can't fucking believe they made like they made me care about this guy. Um, so if you have anything you want to talk about with that, uh, I know uh the uh the new Falcon issues came out this came out this week. Um new a new issue of Dark Knight Metal came out. So there's a lot of stuff coming out there. So if you want to talk about comic book stuff, send it to our mailbag emails, mailbag at mtrnetwork.net. And if you want to listen to that episode, make sure you are subscribed to Super Tuesday Recap on uh, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play Music, or you're subscribed to us on MTR Network. Uh, 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 on uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Those are the only ways to get those mailbag episodes. So uh, make sure you subscribe separately because they're not going to be on the main MTR Network feed. All right, man. Let's get into uh, Arrow here, and um, yeah, we find out who who, who lived and died. In this episode from from the, the, I guess you could call it a cliffhanger last season where they literally blow up an island. And um, I got to say, you know what I, I liked compared to what they did with uh, the Flash and coming in with the six months later thing. I, I kind of like the idea that you see the team kind of looks like his, everything's fine here. Right. Like you start with them, you know, coming here to 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 stop this. um uh, to stop this bomb, and they, they kind of they don't have Felicity there. So at first you're like, wait, did Felicity die? Because it's it's Curtis, and they have him using the T spheres more, which is like that. Uh, you see some right. of the other people of the team, but you're like, they're they seem to be operating fairly okay. And then as the episode goes on, you start seeing more and more of like you said the fallout from what happened last season, and that everybody's not okay. Except for Oliver. I feel like Oliver actually is the only one that seems to be. So, and that's the weirdest part about this. So, if you guys remember, we left the end of last season kind of on an arrow high. Like, this was, in my estimation, I'd say a top two season last season was. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it had to do with it paying off kind of the entire ethos of the series. Indicated, like you said, by literally blowing up the, the island that was in the past. Um. That being said, I was a little nervous to see how they would handle an actually transformed Oliver. And for me, it played well, but it was noticeable. Yeah. Like, it's, it's one of those things where, like, and again, I don't think it being noticeable isn't a saying it's bad. I think it's actually good. I think it's a good thing. But I'm, I was waiting for Oliver to go back to the old Oliver. Right. I'm waiting for him to have, but like he, he was the up, not the up, not upbeat, but he was the positive one throughout this entire episode. And I'm like, wait a minute, where's Thea? And for the longest time, you think Thea's dead. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, mm, like, dude, you are way like you were, you were handling this way better than I thought, you know? And you see how everybody else has kind of been affected. 
And Oliver still seems to be the one, like, he's actually seems to be, for the most part, under control. He's handling being mayor. He's handling uh, basically being supportive of the rest of the team. He's, you know, uh, being the Green Arrow. Like, I'm like, he's being a fucking dad. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's, Yeah, he's trying. Yeah. He's, well, okay. Yeah. He's he's doing the best thing you could expect from, all, from a queen at this point when it comes to a kid. A, a male queen when it comes to a kid. It's just, they're not really good at kids. So... Like, no. Con- considering where we have seen him before, not too bad. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Like, he's, he's, it's a big step. yeah, it's a, it was a big. This is a big step for Oliver. So, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of hoping. Like, it, it's weird. I'm, I'm hoping we don't get a reverse Flash where it's like they don't try to out hope the Flash. Like, like the Flash try to out Dark Arrow because you can't do that. Like, um, and I'm not saying they were doing. Like, I don't get that feel from this. But I just want to say, like, you can't, you're, you're not going to make me, you're not going to turn Stephen Emil and, 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 and uh, Oliver Queen into Barry Allen. Right. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to happen. But uh, again, from this episode, I don't feel like they were even trying to do that. Like, it just seems like he's come to peace with what he can, he can do, you know? And uh, kind of jumping to the end, there was that, that conversation between uh, him and Slade. Yeah. Where, where I thought it was really good. And it's just like, hey, hey, man, like, your two, your two worlds going to collide at some point, and you're going to make some hard choices. And um, I think that's going to be something we see play out throughout the season. I mean, obviously, when you see the end of this episode, you, you, definitely worlds are colliding a little bit sooner than you would think. Um, but uh, yeah, man, um, I really I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing that for the first time, Oliver doesn't seem to be the broken one. Yeah, and I think that's a. Uh... Like I said, an interesting twist, but I think that the sheer volume of level of broken around him will keep us from getting to be uh, too hopeful of the show. But it's going to be nice to see Oliver kind of in the driver's seat, being the leader. We always he's always acted like, but kind of taking that rein and saying this is his team and he's running it, not just in a authoritarian way, but more in a way that's uh, he's he's, he's going to be that mentor figure. All right. All right. Um, I will say there there is one thing that I do need them to fix. Is, is the same thing with the Flash. Yo, you guys need to get better security, man. Like, what the fuck, man? The Arrow Cave and Star Labs get broken into. We're not even. We're not. We're not even two episodes into the season. We're one episode into the season. Black Siren has already broken into the Arrow Cave. Like, come on, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing? I mean, and, and I, I was going to say in their defense, but we've reached the point of no defense. Right. It's like I mean, Wait. and the defense is she knows. Maybe, she maybe, knew where it maybe was. they don't like. Look, the ninjas keep getting in. There's no point. It's like when you kind of accept that sometimes you're going to see bugs in certain rooms. You know, like, okay, well that's there's that that wall is not perfectly sealed, and yeah, it's a whole thing. Like the uh, nin- the ninjas, I get, but in this episode, Black Sovereign literally it seems like she used codes. She had the fucking codes to get in. Yeah, this was this seems super lazy. <laughs> this was, like, it, this, it feels like I, the, the, the it feels like it feels like the ninjas happened so much that they gave up altogether. Like. I can take the ninjas because they're fucking ninjas. Ninjas get everywhere, right? They're like, you, you, you know, you you have somewhere they're not supposed to get into. Ninjas can get in. Like, I get that. And, it's, and it was and it was always Malcolm Merlin, so it was like that type of deal too. So it was like, okay, fine, fuck it, okay, I can deal with that. But Black Siren, come on, come come on. Like, how did she get in? How does she have the code to get in? Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> just that's that's what I want for this show. I want new security. For Oliver's Cave and for uh for Star Labs, new security. We need to get that going. Like you can, like, you had enough money to get uh you, you can get Renee a new suit. Renee got a new costume, but we can't. Renee got a new costume over here looking like Zack Snyder's interpretation of Red Hood, and I'm not saying that's bad. Like I actually liked his new his new outfit. Um, but we got we got money for that, but we ain't got money to to put locks on the doors. You know, he, I really thought he was like a a very two K eighteen uh Casey Jones. Yo. <laughs> Here's the thing. I was like, this is a very metal Casey Jones. Here's the thing. You know what though? I love it though because I was tired of him going out and what, what was like a hockey jersey or something like that. He was literally going out You're and like wrong. He, he was literally going You're out. Wrong. He was going out and like the clothes you we played pickup ball in. And I'm like, hey, hey man, come on. Everybody else got an outfit. Like Renee just slapping on anything. Like somebody, somebody get this man a suit, yo. Somebody get him something to put on. So it's a really good point. I, I fucks with it. I, I fucks with it. I fucks with the new look. Um, I think that's great. Yeah, but it's just one of those things. Like, hey, come on, man. Obviously, um, uh, 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 Curtis updated the T sphere. He didn't update the fucking 
Security codes? Like, come on, man. It's always that was then you get that one blind spot, that one that you always seem to forget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all of them in like the front door. You like, know what it is? I didn't lock it again. <laughs> you know what it is? Damn. It's Anybody who's ever had pets, it's like this. It's like you, 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 you sell something else so your pet can't get in, and you, you're all proud of it. You're like, okay, I put this here. And they're not going to do this. Then you come back, and they've already within five seconds gotten out of it. You're like, how the fuck did you do that? Like that's what it reminds me of. It's just like no matter what they do, there's always something there. <laughs> so um, get right. Oh man, it's so good. Um, I love the um. The 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 long drawn out um, the drawing out of what happened to Thea, because for the longest time I thought she died, and um, I was already blaming Samantha. I was like, God damn it, you stu- you you just killed you had Thea killed you got Thea killed off screen, and I was gonna be so fucking pissed. I was so pissed, and then when Oliver was visiting um, Renee in the hospital, and he walked out the thing, I was like. Thea's another room. That's what it is. Okay, I'm I'm better. Like I knew before they showed it to me, but for the for most of that episode, I was sitting there seething, and I'm I'm like writing the think piece in my head about how Thea deserved better than to be killed <laughs> between seasons in that fucking explosion. That was the only reason I was like, "There's no way this happened." Oh my god! I got I was so pissed. I was so bad. I was like, "God damn it! You can kill anybody else, but you kill fucking Thea." Now I'm fucking pissed. I know she. I'm okay now. Like it makes. And here's the thing. It makes sense because they were having a hard time even last season finding a way. About this, finding right, a place right. For her. And and that's why I was like, I, I was even. I would eventually have been okay if they had killed her completely because again, they 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 don't. They have so many characters. It's really hard to keep her around. But hey, you put her in a coma. Problem solved. She's still alive. You put her on the shelf. You put her on the shelf. She, you put her on on, on, on injury reserve. Yep. I'm and I'm okay with it. Like that. That worked out for me, and once again, it's already proved to me that uh, they seem very self-aware of these things, and they know how to play with our emotions, kind of like what they did with um, Vigilante, you know? So, not not bad. Not not bad. Uh, and uh, it also means, hey, who knows, maybe we'll see Evelyn come back, because she was another one of the ones that was stuck on the island. We never saw anything that happened with her. Um, we did see uh, what happened with Black Siren um, uh, uh surviving in the end some some person do we know who that is yet have they no seen? they didn't show us a face okay um and again i don't i haven't been really paying attention to like uh the casting news so i've I don't been know. actively avoiding spoilers yeah me too so i don't i don't know who it is i don't know who their the the big bad is so i'm i'm actually okay with that with arrow this season um but uh the one thing i'm kind of again i like black siren laurel all right, I think that's been her at her um, her best. I'm I'm gonna be interested in seeing how they play the Quentin Laurel thing here, um, because I thought there was really something there with them last season when she kidnapped him and she wanted to keep him alive, and then this season and we find out last season. Uh, well, not well, what happened when uh, him and Dinah went back. She ended up she threatened Dinah and he shot her, um, and so now she's kind of you know. But even in, even then, when they when she confronted him in the in the cave in in the, in the hideout, she kind of he didn't shoot her, and she kind of just walked by him and didn't do anything to him. So I think that's going to be an interesting dynamic to see how they play off on uh, the lances here. Um, it can go it can go good or it can go bad. Well, what they've done is they've created a really compelling case for us to see it break either way because we saw last season when Quentin found out about. Dark Laurel, New Laurel, Black Siren, whatever. He was definitely shook, and now it's it's come to a situation where they've built this tension into how are they going to resolve it? Because even Oliver is compromised because when he sees her, he knows that she's evil, but he still doesn't see her for what she really is because of the face that she carries. And it's a great way to it's it's kind of the way we used to talk about Brett Dalton on Age of the Shield. You come back and you just by having that face on the screen. You change the dynamic of everyone else who's been left behind. Yeah, it's one of the things also that we've seen um, with both her uh, and with uh, Killer Frost on on the Flash. It's like those actors seem to have they 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 seem to be almost more free when they play these darker versions of themselves. Um, and so it's just going to be interesting seeing how the writers do it. Because like I said, I, I think it can be good because I, I like that dynamic they had there. I mean, 
um, from last season and this season, you know, because it's clear that they're uh, that even when we remember last season, uh, Black Siren, she that Laura Lance from Earth 2, she she she's not used to having a father that cares. And this Quentin cares so much. And she was still caught and taking her back because he shot her. But he was like, yo, you were about to kill one of my friends. You're about to kill somebody I care about. And that's not. Lo-. So it's going to be interesting seeing how that dynamic works. And especially seeing that she's working for somebody who uh, really has it out for um, for the team. So that's going to be interesting in s- to, to see how that, that plays out. And um, yeah, I, I kind of like it. I mean, I even like the idea of when he didn't show up and uh, at the precinct and Dinah showed up and he's there. He's not drinking, but he's just looking at the three shots, right? You know, mm-hmm. and it's right. like, yo, I, I need to talk about this with somebody and I can't, there's nobody else I can talk about it with. I can't talk about this with my sponsor. That Hey, I shot my, you know, I shot and killed, he thought he killed, I shot and killed my daughter, but she's not really my daughter. She's from, from my, I shot and killed my dead daughter, but she's not really my dead daughter. She's from another dimension in Earth. Like it's, yeah, that, Shout out to Quentin for not taking that drink. <laughs> Shout out to him for not taking that. You just said drink. it. I'm like, I need a drink now. Right. Because that's another thing. So, and that that brings up one of the the, the things that we kind of mentioned about Legends too. That was kind of weird. Um, that Sarah never showed up with her dad. Like that's one of the right. one, that's one of the interesting things. Like again, maybe we'll see that happen because like he definitely could use a daughter right now uh, at some point. Just just have her pop in like just once because uh. He's kind of going through yeah, some but, shit. But, but reminding him of his daughter could remind him of another one he has left to lose. Like, I don't know. Hey, hey Val, that's a, val- that's a valid point. Like, listen, He's been through a lot. I'm about to say, yo, everybody on the show has been through a lot, but Quentin Lance has really been through a lot, yo. He's Every lost. time we talk about it and see that thing, I'm like, wow, oh, he's really... Quentin needs a vacation. He loses a daughter almost every season. and Or, or a, a daughter of Jason, because here's the thing. The first thing I thought when I thought Thea was dead was like, I thought Quentin was upset that about Thea. Because Thea and him have gotten really close. And right. so I was like, oh my God, if Thea died, I could definitely see Quentin taking this really fucking hard. Because Thea put herself on a line and really worked hard to get, and get Quentin back on track. So if Thea died, oh man, I could see Quentin just, like, that's another daughter. Like, man, like, this is... Man, this like you heard the the Black Widow thing like hey don't don't fall in love with this person because they you know you end up you end up dead like you just it's just not a good thing the, 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 the Caitlyn Snow effect yeah. yeah the Caitlyn Snow you don't don't be a daughter or a a daughter fill in for Quentin Lance your your arc is never good it never ends well for you you end up dead no. some kind of way <laughs> some kind no of way all the way it's all bad it's all bad all bad there um speaking of all bad my, our man Diggle man. He's getting the look. Diggle stay shook, man. Uh, he, see, see, I wasn't even gonna make the joke there. He does. Diggle. Like I'm just saying, like, and Diggle's the realest person on this show. Don't get me wrong. It's just maybe, just maybe, it's time to go to a desk job. <laughs> like he took some shrapnel to the chest, man. Because we've, like, we've danced, we've danced the Diggle's Diggle's little shook dance before. So, um, because this is, some people were talking about this on Twitter, and I, I was, I had it in my notes. Uh, him and Dinah seem kind of close here. Yeah. I'm reading too much. Y'all stop reading, reading this shit. I'm just saying. Let Diggle live. Just saying. Just saying. Let Diggle live. If we're going to. I mean, he can live. I mean, he can live. I'm saying. I'm actually. I mean, I'm, I, I'm pro it because it's messy. And I like seeing Joy just taking <laughs> complete. I'm, 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 I'm so. Because I'm messy. I'm so I'm so in for it because it's messy and it, it'll it ruin so many things. And I'm, I'm all here for it, y'all. I'm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it just seemed like they were getting kind of, getting kind of close, and um, just, just saying, just got to keep an eye on that one, man. I'm just saying, just got to keep an eye on that one. Uh, Lila might wanna, might wanna, you know, make sure she's not. Keep, just keep an eye on her husband. How about he's... y'all mind your own business? Let Diggle live. Diggle's just hanging out, man. Hey, he was trying to get his mind right. I mean, Donald looks like she was about to get his mind right. I'm just saying. Wow. Just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, just fostering this, 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 this uh, atmosphere of distrust. I'm just saying that. Um, just saying. Um, all right. So, the, the, my least favorite thing, and uh, we, I, I knew this was gonna come up, and, and be a problem. Um, uh, William got to get himself together, yo. If you're gonna be on the show, if you're gonna be part of Team Arrow, even, even by, you know, you got to get your shit together, man. I know you're. I know yeah, you're. He just, he just got here. 
I know you. I know you just got here. I know, but you've already been. He's already been. Time? He's already been kidnapped. He's been kidnapped by Damian Dark before. He got kidnapped again. Like you, you were like he's been here for two seasons. Like you were yeah, getting kidnapped. Not like merit badges. It makes it makes the it makes the 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 not want to accept the part worse. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He wouldn't have gotten kidnapped. He wouldn't have gotten kidnapped. He wasn't talking to fucking stranger the last season anyway. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is that victim blaming? Yes, I am. I, I have okay. no problem saying I, sure I am victim blaming the young kid on the show because uh, I, I just uh, get your shit together, Will. Get your shit together. I'm just that's all I'm saying. William, just, you take all the time you need, William. What the fuck is wrong with you, you heartless <laughs> bastard? Uh, jokes aside, though, um, I, I think it's going to be interesting seeing. First of all, I love the fact that they brought back the um, uh, the housekeeper from season one uh, and two. I think she was in season two as well. Um, and um, I, I think it's going to be an interesting dynamic to see. As much as I don't like the kids on on the show, I think it is going to be interesting to see how Oliver handles juggling being a father, a single father, um, yep. being mayor, being Green Lantern. I mean, Green Lantern, being Green Arrow. <laughs> sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you but- know that they will come. Right or or maybe not. Uh, so, wow. but I think I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be interesting. I mean, do you really want to see how they handle? I'm I'm I don't know if I want to. I don't know. Best how. way to get a PTSD is a power ring. Let's go, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about for you talking about on actually on Arrow? Yeah, I'm I'm, Let's no, do it. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm I'm actually down for that. I, I actually trust that more. I actually trust giving Diggle a power ring and giving me, making him Green Arrow, the Green Lantern Reveal on the his show. His real last name is Stuart, and give this man a power ring. I feel more confidence in that than I do them bringing John Stewart or any of the Green Lanterns to uh, live action right now. So no, I'm I'm oh, those I'm, movies aren't happening. Those movies don't exist. I'm 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 team give Diggle a power ring. I'm you you got me sold on that one already because you're you're right. That would actually be that would be one hell of an arc for him. So that would be that would be pretty good. So, but um, yeah, no, I, I think that uh, seeing Oliver juggle all this stuff, you know, even with them not really forcing the, um, I even like the way they handle the the him and Felicity thing, where it's not like, not really forced, and it's like take your time, like thank you, all right, like we know we get it, don't make it a focus, don't make it a huge thing right now, okay. Um, like I said, it'll be interesting seeing how uh this show handles that. Uh, going forward, and um, like I said, I, I think this was a, actually a pretty solid uh, season opener. It, it again after last season, I got a little nervous because it's like, well, I don't know how you follow that up, but we're just one episode right. in, and you know things can change. But I think it fe- it feels like a continuation of last season. You know, things can go off the rails definitely, but right now I'm I I feel really good. I feel really good about what I'm seeing here. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of moving forward. And like I said, the only flashbacks we had were the flashbacks to six months ago. You know, to actually tell us what we Which and they, still, I was like, how dare you? But I kind of, I get, I got, I got. Right, right. I mean, they, they had to at least kind of show us what yeah, happened. Yeah, but yeah. even then, again, compared to flashbacks to, to five years ago, I'll take it. Like, this is. Oh, for sure. Not, not bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, overall, I liked it. I liked seeing. Um, how, uh, there, you know, the team's going to have some adversity to just to get, get over themselves. And I like the fact that everybody else seems kind of be a little bit broken, but Oliver. Um, and I think that's how it has to be to make him, I think the showrunner said they wanted to make him more like the green arrow or in the comic books. And this is kind of some of the things you have to do. Um, so, and, uh, the ending, do you think, uh, he, I'm, I'm kind of torn over this because one hand I'm like, you know they're just gonna find some way of getting around it, but the other hand, I kind of want them to go ahead and have his identity out there. I See, know they can't. Like I know you, they can't because they've proven that the citizens of this city are the dumbest people in America. I think it was season three mm-hmm. when they thought it was Roy. I'm like, you no, you're all stupid. You deserve to be lied to. Um, but I'm like you. I'm actually. I think I said this last season. Yeah. Where I said the next step is to out him. Yeah, like the next wrinkle is to make him make him be both. Yeah, and I I I I get the problems that come with that if you do it that way, but 
it, my my one thing is we've done this before. We've done it. Season one, they did it because remember Diggle put the costume on. Uh, they did it again. I think I want to say they did it again. Like they do it. It seems like they do it almost every season. And at this point, like we just gotta like I I would like to see them not address it. Like it 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 be maybe as they don't end it next uh, next episode, but it be a season thing where he's dealing with people who think he's the Green Arrow. You know, and then at the, the very end, he has his I'm, I am Iron Man moment and come from there. Like, I don't know. But it, it also kind of ties into what happened with The Flash, where it's like, come on, how does anybody not know it's Barry at this point? Like, at, at, this, <laughs> at, at, at this point, it's it just, it just getting really hard to have these secret identities here. It really is. Like, and I get that that's, um, that, uh, you know, that that happens in the comic books, but also there was a time when they didn't have secret identities. And so I don't know. I kind of want to see, like, I think that would be an interesting dynamic to see. And I think it would also take away some of the, some of this, the, the brain dead moments you see, like, come on, man, how do you not like, seriously, seriously, like, you know, uh, how, how does all these people, how, how did, how did Thea Queen end up, you know, in, in a coma? How is she always almost dead or things like this always happening? How, how is, how is a flash gone for six months and all of a sudden Barry Allen shows back and all of a sudden the flash is back too. Like how does nobody put two and two together on half this shit? Like the green arrow, just the arrow shows up after Oliver Queen shows up after being lost for five years. Like, come on, man. Like at some point it's got to get out there. And I, I actually think that the way that they've been writing the Arrowverse with all these shows, at this point, you might as well do it. You know? You you might as well. Like, didn't everybody know Ray Palmer was a fucking Adam anyway? I think so. I have no idea. I can't remember. I can't remember how they worked that out. But, like, at, th at this point, to me, I just, I, I actually, I know they probably won't. I know this is a long shot. Um, but I'm team, put it out there. I'm, me too. I, I'm team, put it out there, and let's see how... It all unfolds because it's going to be a mess. It's going to change a lot of things. He won't be mayor anymore. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> you know, there's going to let him be... keep being mayor. That's even more interesting. Mayor superhero. Well, shit. Do, do, that, do that ex machina. Do that, but with arrow instead of uh, machines. Or, 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 and that's even better. Uh, you, you have somebody come up and challenge him for a special election saying, and then the people still elect him as mayor. Like, that's... Cause that's he's, yeah, because he's green fucking cause, arrows. Cause, the mayor's green arrow. It's pretty right. fucking cool. Right. He's actually, apparently, he's been a pretty good mayor. That's that's Yo, that's, like, that's been the crazy thing about it. Up, I'm like, okay. Like, when you, when, getting and, shit done. And, and this is why I think it's, it's actually such a... It, 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 like, the character of Oliver Queen has been such an interesting uh, character to me because the growth. This is a guy who couldn't... Couldn't be Arrow and run his company at the same time. Remember his mother at the time in season one, two, wanted to come in and work for He couldn't do any of that stuff. When he finally did take over the company, he couldn't run the company, lost the company. He is now running an entire team of vigilantes. He's saving the city at night. He's becoming mayor, and he's doing a pretty good, damn good job. Like, he actually went, didn't skip out on the, the, um, the, 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 uh, the police recruits. Uh, academies, uh, recruits, and things like that had a pretty good fucking speech. Did all that stuff. Like he's actually doing his fucking job. It's it started off rocky when he wasn't doing that, but now he's actually doing his job. And yeah, man, like I think that would be a really interesting thing to see uh, go down um, if this turns out to be the case. So um, yeah, I, I'm team. I'm team out out Oliver. Yeah. Oh, me too. Hundred percent. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. So um. You got anything else you want to say about this uh, uh this episode? No, I'm just really glad it's back. I'm glad that that you and I kind of agreed without having to talk about it, kind of our fears about the season. And I can say after one episode that I feel much, 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 much better. Yes, yes, yeah. Like I, I think this is. Oh, I will say the the one the one unbelievable thing in this episode was when uh Renee got shot and fell off. I was like, there's no no he fell. He hit, he hit the ground. Like, Oliver, there's no way Oliver was able to run over, jump off the building. It was a cool scene, don't get me wrong, but th that's not how it works, all right? That's not, that's not how physics works, all right? Like, they weren't high At enough all. up. They were, they were not high enough up for Oliver to jump out, like, th like 10 seconds after a Renee and still catch Renee before he hit the ground. That does not happen. I'm sorry. This entire, this entire show is now Elseworlds. 
Because Renee hit the ground. Yeah, Renee hit the ground. Like, Renee's he died. Dead. Renee's dead. Like, he... The back end of this episode was Renee's funeral and how we're going to get the money to his daughter. <laughs> right. Like, that's what this was. Right. Like, he did not live. He did not survive that. He um, is a very dead man. Yes. And um, also, shout out to, like, again, so far, I like what they're doing with everybody every on the team. Like, they gave, uh, Dinah, I know a lot of worry about, they, they threw Dinah in there last, like, halfway through last season, and she didn't really get a lot of work. Uh, she seems to be getting a lot more, um, uh, a lot more today. She's a lieutenant now. She's she's you know got a, got a role in the police department. Like she had one last year, but she's actually going to be doing a lot more. Um, right. Uh, uh, Curtis, uh, his T sphere seem to be working out pretty good. He he got his balls. His balls are working correctly. I I appreciate that. Um, those jokes will never end. By the way, those it, jokes no. will never end. No, those jokes are always coming. Um, Renee got his new suit. Um, if, if, be perfectly honest. Like Diggle was uh, people are covering for Diggle. And uh, who, who's got who's got who's got a little problems? And remember, they stopped the missile without Felicity in 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 in, in the hideout. Yep. So like so you know, which also goes leads me to believe Felicity's on the table again. Cause oh he, yeah, yeah. Because you don't need her now. Because yeah. if Kurds can do everything that she can do, what do you need Felicity for? Just saying, just throwing out there. I like to, I like to every throw something out there to to die for the shippers to hate me. Store.mtrnetwork.net. You can get blame Chris T-shirts will be in soon. stock soon. Soon, I'll be putting them out there soon, so you can get them and you can show how much you hate me for for the things I come up with. So, um, <laughs> all right, folks, that's it. That's Arrow season uh, six, season six. Damn, Damn. six seasons, six seasons of this show, man. That's and I think we're heading to. Uncharted territory because I'm actually super curious what they do next, and I'm not at all. I'm, I'm not afraid. I yeah. don't think. Yeah, me either. So I'll tell you what though, them using the name Faust in the first episode <laughs> smeeks of magic, and I don't like it. <laughs> I well, was you, like, "What was that last name?" And they said it again. I was like, "Oh, you said it twice, huh, assholes?" Well, you know, um, Coxine is coming back to uh, listen to tomorrow. I know. So I, oh, I know. So uh, yeah, I'm. Really interested in seeing how they works, and hey, maybe they get maybe they do magic right this time. So cross we'll your see. fingers. We'll see. So, all right, folks, uh, thank you guys very much for listening again. Super Tuesday recap on iTunes, Hit Radio, a uh, Google Play Music, and uh, MTR Network on YouTube.com. So until next time, we are out of here. Peace. Peace.